Uh, we're going to show you here. You might um, want to put the spring clamps on the bottom of the header uh, when you attach the tarp. Actually, they're better off on the top because there are edges, even though it's rounded, uh, and the tarp can get some wear. So we're going to reattach this tarp uh, to the top. And now, if you can see, uh, we don't get quite the wear point uh, that we had before. Uh, so now we're going to unfurl the tarp uh, and cover the macro bins. Uh, we have to more or less start from the rear and get it up over the bin, start it, then we'll come around to the front. on the jet if you need to. And we'll see how this tarp covers the top. And then down over the front to rest on the floor. So we get this question a lot from uh, people who are just getting started with forced air cooling. How does it work? Well, once the fans are turned on and sucking from that middle space, the air has to come through the ballast or fins. We forced air cool as opposed to room cooling. So we're going to turn this on, which is pressing that green button again. And over 20 seconds, the fans accelerate. You'll see the tarp start to suck in from the suction. See it? So the air is being sucked in through all the holes where the product is. Seal these leaks in your bypass. Look how strong that suction is. This is part of the BMP. pressure and we still have an awful, awful lot of airflow as you can see. Uh, we're going to pick up a piece of cardboard on the floor. Pick that up. Just, just grab that cardboard and hold it against these air holes in the macro bins. And you'll see it will stick. So even though 